वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट न्यू टॉपिक एंड प्रीवियस क्लास वॉट वी डिस्कस द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ द सेल वॉट आर द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ द सेल इफ यू टेक एनिमल सेल द वॉट इज द बाउंड्री ऑफ द सेल इट इज सेल मेम्ब्रेन वॉट इज द बाउंड्री ऑफ ए प्लांट सेल इट इज सेल वॉल ओके इफ यू टॉक अबाउट टूडेज टॉपिक दैट इज न्यूक्लियस Nucleus. Whenever you heard the word nucleus, you may remember that it is the head of the cell. Why we are calling the nucleus only as head of the cell? Because the nucleus is capable to control all the functions of the cell. That's why we call the nucleus as control room of the cell and also called as head of the cell. before going to discuss about different parts present in the nucleus and functions of the nucleus today we are going to discuss about one lab activity in this the aim of the lab activity to observe the nucleus present in our cheek cell you know what is cheek this part okay what are the requirements we need for that activity means you need a glass slide or uh, i along with that you also need a ice cream spoon if it is not available a spatula if it is also not available you may take any kind of toothpick along with that 1% methyl methylene blue stain 1% methylene blue stain another one you also need is a microscope along with that a blotting paper blotting paper cover slip and glycerin these are the requirements for doing this lab activity we need if we go to the procedure what is the procedure we already studied about uh, how to prepare a slide in your egg class once recall that for the preparation of slide you take a clean spatula or a ice cream spoon or otherwise toothpick and before going to collect the cells present in the cheek you just wash your mouth in a proper manner after that by using the spoon from the inner lining of your cheek from inside you may scrap some material from your cheek later you spread that scrapped material on a watch glass watch glass it just looks like this in round or oval in shape here you have to spread the collected scrap uh, which we taken from our cheek okay like this you have to spread and then add one drop of uh, methylene blue methylene blue stain to it leave it for a couple of minutes about 2 uh, minutes or 5 minutes you may make it to be remain on the material after that by using a blotting paper you just remove the stain extra stain present on the material after that add a drop of glycerin you just remove this scrap and place on a glass slide here spread it and add one drop of glycerin try to place a cover slip try to place a cover slip okay after drying you cap the slide under the microscope and you observe the slide the temporary mount of the cheek cell then you observe the cells in this manner if you observe here you are able to find these or the cheek cells and in the middle you people are finding a dark dark dart like structure that is the nucleus and outer layer of the cell as plasma membrane or cell membrane and in the middle a fluid content that is cytoplasm a fluid content that is cytoplasm you are able to find by this activity what are the precautions we have to follow for this activity means the precautions you have to take first one before going to collect the cheek material from your cheek you should be very careful and you should not scrap it very hardly it may injure your cheek that is the first one 
Next, don't add extra stain to the slide. Means methylene blue. Only add one or less than one drop. It is enough. After that, excess stain we have to remove. Excess stain we have to remove from the slide. Okay, those are the main precautions we have to take. And while we are placing cover slip, we should not allow, we should not give any chance to the air bubbles to enter into it. Okay, is it clear? This is the lab activity we have to conduct. By seeing this slide, we may understand how the nucleus looks like. Okay, after that, we are going to discuss about the nucleus. We already discussed about the main function of the nucleus. What is the main function of the nucleus? Yes, the main function of the nucleus is to control all the functions of the cell organelles. Okay, it is able to control the cell. That's why we are calling it as controlling room of the cell. And it is also called as a storage home. Storage home of chromatic material or genetic material. Why we are calling it as storage home? Because it, it is storing the genetic information inside. That's why we call it as storage home. Okay, what are the different parts present in the nucleus? If you see the nucleus, actually the nucleus, the cell is microscopic. If the cell is microscopic, the nucleus is also very tiny one. But your better understanding, I draw the diagram in a big manner. Okay? Here, if you find this, the outermost layer of this nucleus is called as nuclear membrane. This part is called as nuclear membrane. And it is having two layers, double membrane structure. One inner membrane and outer membrane. This one is called as nuclear membrane. It, what is the function of this nuclear membrane? It just covers the nucleus. Okay. And it is also have connection with endoplasmic reticulum. The end of one of the cell organelle also connected to the nucleus. This one is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And this one is the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Okay. And if we talk about the inner content of the nucleus, in the inner side of the nucleus, if we observe properly, here we may find a liquid substance, a fluid, that is called as nucleoplasm. Okay, that is called as nucleoplasm. And it also contains a dark, uh, dot-like structure in it. That is called as nucleolus. What is that? Nucleolus, the dark part. Okay, and it is having, it is able to carry all these uh, um, entangled structures which are called as chromatin material. Chromatin material or genetic material, we call it as entangled thread like structures. A mass of entangled thread like structures are called as chromatin material or genetic material these are present inside the nucleus and what is the function of this genetic material we all know that the characters of our parents our grandparents they just move from one generation to another generation they just transfer it. how they are transferring by the help of this chromatin material means all the genetic information it just remains in the chromatin material okay if we talk about Another one, uh, between the nuclear membrane is also called as nuclear envelope. Nuclear membrane is also called as nuclear envelope. If you observe carefully the nuclear membrane, in the middle we have some pore like some openings, like pores. Those pores are called as nuclear pores. What is the function of that nuclear pore? It just transfer the materials between this nuclear plasm and outside of the cell what is there cytoplasm between the cytoplasm and nucleoplasm it just transferring the information or the materials not the information it just transferring the 
materials okay which are essential ones they are going in what which are not essential to the nucleus they are coming out like the transfer of materials occurs through this pores okay and if we talk about the nucleolus what is the function of this nucleolus it just the nucleolus it just acts as a site acts as a site of formation of uh, protein centers it just forms the protein centers okay if we talk about chromatin materials the chromatin material is very very important for the nucleus because uh, as it is storing genetic information in it during the cell division the nucleus plays an important role we all know what is cell division we all know that the new cells were coming from pre existing cell means the older ones while one cell is going to divide into two and that cell again divide that process the division of cell process is called as cell division during that time the chromatin material organized themselves into specialized structures which are called as chromosomes if you observe here the chromosomes they just look like this okay they just themselves arranged in a special structures those are called as chromosomes okay now we will discuss about all about these chromosomes and chromatin material in your higher classes okay chromatin material it is present inside the nucleus and it is able to store genetic information in it okay these are the different parts present in the nucleus nucleus contain nucleus the nucleus is enclosed or covered by a double membrane layer that is called as nuclear membrane inside it is contain fluid substance means uh, some liquid like substance that is called as a nuclear nucleoplasm and it is also contain some entangled mass of entangled structures thread like structures those are called as chromatin material and it is also contain a dark dark like structure as a nucleolus okay these are the different parts present inside a nucleus i think you understand about the nucleus here what are the main functions we discussed here the nucleus is the big oh, one of the biggest cell organelle present in the center of the cell in animal in plant it is present towards the periphery okay and it also covers the nucleus not only uh, present around the nucleus it is just covers the nucleus give some protection and it also separates the nucleus from cytoplasm it is separating the nucleus from cytoplasm okay i think you understand about this now we are going to discuss about some more information depending on the presence of a organized nucleus we divided the cells the classification of cell is done depending on the presence of a organized nucleus we divided the cells into two types what are that prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell what is meant by a prokaryotic cell the cell which does not contain a organized nucleus and nuclear means cell cellular organelles cell organelles membrane bonded cell organelles are absent and a organized nucleus is absent in the prokaryotic cell what about eukaryotic cell if any kind of cell that contains a organized nucleus along with membrane bonded cell organelles is called as eukaryotic cell the best example for prokaryotic cell is bacteria like blue green algae cyanobacteria or examples what are examples for these eukaryotic cells like plants and animal cells or examples for these eukaryotic cells and if we talk about the other parts of the cell now we are going to discuss about cytoplasm and protoplasm cytoplasm and protoplasm before going to discuss that 
you people also know in your 8th class the nucleus was discovered by a scientist called as Robert Brown who discovered the nucleus Robert Brown when he was discovered the nucleus in the year 1831 in the year 1831 the nucleus was discovered by a scientist called as Robert Brown in the cheek sir okay if we go to the cytoplasm what is cytoplasm cytoplasm is the jelly like substance what it is a jelly like substance surrounding the nucleus what it is doing it just surrounds the nucleus within within the cell membrane within the cell membrane it just present inside the cell membrane not inside the nucleus nucleus is not included in the cytoplasm in the cytoplasm there is no nucleus means uh, uh, it just surrounds the nucleus but it is not present inside the nucleus it is a jelly like substance if we talk about protoplasm what is protoplasm protoplasm is the colorless material it is a both are liquids but it is color it is a jelly like substance it is colorless materials consisting of the living parts of the cell what it is containing living parts of the cell including cytoplasm protoplasm itself also contain cytoplasm nucleus and other organelles along with the cytoplasm nucleus and it is also containing other cell organelles it is protoplasm and this one is cytoplasm uh, before days means in the ancient days people think that uh, protoplasm it is giving most of the life to the cell that's why they also call this one as a life fluid in ancient days most of the scientists most of the work done by the cell included in this protoplasm that's why they named this one as protoplasm which means cell life fluid life fluid protoplasm meaning is life fluid later after doing many experiments they concluded that the protoplasm is not doing many works the organelles present in the protoplasm is capable to do the works of the cell that's why they renamed this protoplasm as cytoplasm so though they renamed it there is a little different difference between cytoplasm and protoplasm what is that cytoplasm is a jelly like substance it does not includes the nucleus but protoplasm is a colorless material it includes cytoplasm nucleus along with other cell organelles i think you understand the difference between cytoplasm and protoplasm this is the end of today's session and we will we will meet you in the new new session with a new topic